Today we live in a secular age, as the Canadian philosopher Charles Taylor calls it. We've seen a transformation of society from one in which practically everyone believed in God to, uh, to a society mm -hmm. in which God takes up no place or almost no place in, in people's daily lives. What is the biggest problem with the atheistic worldview as you see it? I think the biggest problem with the atheistic worldview is, first of all, it's just not true. Um, the idea that there's no form of consciousness beyond the human level, which is the basis of atheism, really. It says that there is no mind, consciousness, or spirit out there. Um, if we form ideas about God, or gods, or goddesses, or saints, or angels, these are just human cultural constructs um, that exist in human minds, and therefore in human brains. And they're just inside our heads. And they see it as their job to free people from these illusions, believing in things that don't exist. Uh, but they're just making the assumption, it's been built into science since the 17th century, that the whole material world is unconscious. It's not a proved fact scientifically, it's simply an assumption. And I think it's in increasingly implausible. Um, so uh, atheism is a belief system, and it's a belief system that's basically deeply depressing. It can be liberating for people who've had an oppressive religious upbringing. For some people who've grown up in fear of hell and punishment and, um, and in, in a kind of puritanical moral order, uh, then atheism is a liberation. It means they can have sex without feeling guilty and so on. So it's quite attractive for people at that stage. But in modern Europe, very few people have grown up with that kind of religious upbringing. Only about 5% of people have regular religious practices in Britain today. The vast majority of children grow up with no religious practice and no religious role models and no religious doctrine and no religious oppression. So atheism um, doesn't have that liberating effect, but it does have a depressing effect that it says the whole world is basically pointless, uh, evolution is not going anywhere, it's just blind chance, the universe is not going anywhere, it's pointless and purposeless. Your mind's nothing but your brain, and when you die, it's all just wiped out. Uh, you, your consciousness ceases forever. Um, and there's a, it's, it's basically a depressing worldview, and I think it's not a surprise that the uh, predominant psychological problem of Western secular countries is depression, a massive scale of depression. We have millions and millions of people taking antidepressants to counteract depression. And if you have a depressing worldview, I don't think that's surprising.